Morning. I thought I'd carry on with this um, idea of uh, collecting data with symbols within Vectorworks and show you how, um, well, show you one way of exporting that data. Um, now, as you can see, I've got my um, tree um, layouts here and I've just put it onto a separate layer so you can see exactly um, what I'm talking about. But there's about 850 trees on here, each one with its own record. So how do I get this information out? As a technologist, you will be, well, I was asked many times, can I have a look at the list? Well, it's quite easy to do. And the way that I do it is that I go into Tools, and the one I want is reports. If you remember, we use records to attach um, link text to records before. Um, we don't want to go into databases at the moment because that's the complicated side of things. Well, at least I think so anyway. What we want is reports. And we want to create a report. Now, first thing is, what do you want to call it? Well, I'll call it Untitled Worksheet 3 just so I know what's going on. As you can see, I've done two already this morning, just have a quick practice. I want objects with a record, and I want to change this now, and I want to look for the one that I'm interested in. And it is, for me, a AT tree record. So I'll put that up, and immediately it puts all the fields that are being used under that file name within Vectorworks, in this particular file anyway. So what I want to do is I want to add the ones I want to the export side. So I want the accession number because that's the goal, that's the link for everything else that I, I, I want to do. Now on a Mac it's for me it's command and you can see it's changed there. I want to click on the taxon which is the Latin name, the common name. I'm going to put down the symbol type, location, grid, height, spread, Oh, anything else I want to do? Yes, I want the um, I want the notes as well. So if I add all those to the right hand side, you can see the list is already there and it's nice. And I can change the order around if I want to just by dragging these up and down. But I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to export that and just simply press OK. Now I've got 850 trees and you can see it's taking its time to export the data off and putting it into um, into a record system. And there it is, there's the, um, the sheet. And normally I can use that, it's already saved it on here so I don't have to worry about it, it's all done within Vectorworks. But that's not what I'm really interested in at the moment. What I want to do is to get a file out so other people can start to use it. So what we need to do is to go into File, Export, Export Worksheet. Now the fact that it's the one that's highlighted just means it's the one that's going to be exported. And I want comma delimited files and I want to do all the rows. That's exactly what I want really. So let's do that. Let's export that. And it wants a file name. Well. I'm on my desktop and I'll leave it as Untitled Worksheet 3. As you can see, I've been mucking around with it this morning and there's the one that I did originally, Tree Records TXT. But I don't want to overwrite that. I'll just do it as a new one and I'll call it Untitled Worksheet 3. And um, we'll save that on the desktop. So therefore, I've got my information out and to be all instance and purpose, I can shut this down if I want to. Um, I don't particularly want it anymore, not for this particular purpose anyway. Now I need to do what uh, I need to do something with it. Now there are two ways you can look at this: either as a spreadsheet for all you spreadsheet junkies out there, or I can do it into a database. And I'll show you both ways. Now, as it happens, I'm already in. Um, I use I use Google mostly Google Docs for my spreadsheets. And if I bring this in from my other screen, you'll see that it's already. Um, up and running and I quite like it. It's a very simple, very powerful um, spreadsheet system and it's free. And of course the saving is it's up in the cloud and you can never lose it. So I've got a blank sheet here and what I basically want to do, I want to import something. And it says here all the different things I can import and I really want to choose a file. Now the one that I want is that one which is Untitled Worksheet 3. I want to open it up 
And of course, nicely, it shows exactly what I'm going to get. Well, that's that's it. That's exactly what I want to see. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I want to create a new web sheet, um, show a spreadsheet. I don't want to do it into the existing one. I'll just show you how it's done. Automatic selector, and let's import it in. Now, as there's about 400, no, 850 odd trees on this particular record, it's going to take a little time. Now it's done it, and it says there, open now. And so you open it up, and there's your, your list. Um, open that up just a tad. I want that one opened up because it's. I know some of the names are quite long because it's Latin. And, of course, the old tree names in the common name that are all done. And, you I've got spaces now, and it's a very quick and easy way to start looking at it. And, of course, you can you can do things with this. But I've done it now. I've got the um, the information out that the, the, the people who requested it um, wanted. And I can either send this as a spreadsheet. I can send it as the text file and um, see if they can import it in. But I've done my job. I've got it out. What happens if they want it into a database, which is probably where I'm going to head uh, with this particular project? Now, databases are complicated, and I am no great expert on databases, but I'll show you the basics. Now, I use a Mac, so I've got uh, FileMaker Pro version 11 on this machine, which I already have loaded up. And so um, I've got a um, uh, um, the, the standard... Uh, menu that comes up and I want to create a new database and I'm going to call it Untitled 7 just because um, I've been mucking around this morning as you can see I've got FT7s all over the place so let's just call it Untitled 7 and I've got a blank um, system here so the first thing we need to do is to get the data in so what I do is file import records file and it's untitled worksheet three, which is the text. And there I've got it into FileMaker and it's all ready to do, but it doesn't know where to put the fields because I have no fields ready to put it into. So I need to manage that and put it in. So I want fields and it's an untitled table at the moment. So let's just basically start to put some in and I'll do, um, well, let's just move this down out of the way and I can see the whole whole system. Um, put that there so I can see. The first one I want is accession. And I'll quickly go through these. It's a text file. I can change that to whatever I like, numbers or whatever. Let's do the next one, taxon. And we'll do, again, we'll do that as text. And I want common name. And we'll do that to create that. And symbol type. And we'll create that. It's location. There are some data in for that. We'll create that one. Which grid it's in. Um, always very useful, just for a quick reference. It's height. And if I do spell things wrong, please forgive. It's spread and some notes which are general to that particular tree and we'll create that. Now I don't think there's any more in there that I want to look at, there isn't, so I'll bring that back up. So I've got all the stuff in there and I can change these if I want to, numbers or whatever. Let's just leave them as they are, it's easier for me at the moment. And they'll create. Now because I created them in the right order, they are now applied to each of the ones. And if it's not, then you can move them around and do what you like just by picking that and then moving it up. Um, it'll do it quite easily. OK, let's import the data. Now it says there's 845 records being imported into the database. And I'll click on OK, but I can't see anything at the moment. Um, there's nothing there. So we need to do view. I want to take it out of browser mode and I want to go into layout mode and I want to start adding data. Now for FileMaker, uh, the best way to do that is to use this button here, which is the drag tool. And basically I can drag a field out and then it says which one do you want to assign to that particular field. Well, I want to do the accession number and it puts it in. And I'll quickly go through these and put down the taxon as for that one. You can see it's adding it in. 
and I want to put that one quite tight up against it. I want the common name. And you can move these around and delete what you want or not put in as the case may be. It's just a view um, a symbol type. I want to put that in because it's information that's quite useful uh, when you're looking at the um, and also where it is in the field as well. That's also quite useful. And if I put down there and I want to do which grid it's in. No, it's not. Okay, and then let's break drag that one in and I want to put the height which is very very useful and let's put this in nice and tight and I want the spread of the canopy now it so happens that we've changed this now because of what we're doing yesterday and we're starting to put the spread in both in an X and a Y um, it hasn't been shown in this but it will be in the future and let's press OK on that one and let's drag another one in which I think will be the last one which is the notes field and this particular one I want to spread that out a little because I know there's stuff in there now I can also drag this down and make it a little bit better and I can also drag all of those and I can bring those down a little bit out of the way and I can put titles up and whatever I want there but that's what you get the idea so now if I go in and I do view browse mode and it says do I want to save well the answer is yes now it's come out and it's put it into list form because I've got all the stuff there but as you can see I can choose between list and I can choose between layout like that and then information there 845 records and as I go through them now funny enough this one's also taken in the top head header line of the database and I need to get rid of that but as I go down, I can see the accession and I can see all the problems that um, that I've got with this particular database. Some of the information is missing. Now, what I will do is um, I will export this um, file via email to my iPad and then I can go around with the iPad. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to take a picture of each of the trees to build up a better database. So what I want to do is to go on to layout mode again. And I want to do, I want to manage the database. And it's called Untitled, there's nothing about it. And I want to put um, a field in. And the field name will be Picture. I want to create that down the bottom, as you can see there. Now, I've put it down as text. That's not exactly what I want to do. Because um, I want to make that... Uh, I want to make that what's called a receptacle for information. So it's still picture, and I want to go down there, and I want to use something called a container, and I want to change it. I want a big container to take in information, and a picture file is just exactly what I want to do with that. So options, nothing there I want to change, and um, I'll press OK for that. Now it's automatically put it into place. So what I'll do is I'll pick up that and I'll put that up here somewhere um, just so it's easy to do and I'll move the, the title for that. Now what I can do there is I can go into browse mode again through view and yes I do want to save it. Now what I'll do is I'll highlight that. Now if I'm on my database and I've got a camera and I've taken pictures I can insert a picture into there. Now let's just find um, there's the innovation show that I was watching yesterday. It's a TIFF file but it'll have it, no problem. And I've put the information in. If I'm on my iPad, all you've got to do is press the screen and, or tap the screen and hold the tap, and you'll get a little menu come up that says, take a picture from your own camera on the, on the iPad, and it'll put it into place for you. Now, that's the, the simple end of taking information out of a um, Vectorworks file, and I've got 850-odd, 845 records in there for trees we've got on the site and I've put it into a format that somebody else can now start to use and to, to make records. Syncing it back is the biggest area of problems that you'll ever find. Now we happen to use what I call the, the sneaker pen and once we've set up the file we will ask people to um, inform a system Whereas the gardener will put the tree in, the tree will then be put into the main record and then the record will then pass to worse and we'll put it onto the map. That is the very simplest way of doing things. 
there are people out there and I know a couple who are extremely good at FileMaker and they can link FileMaker into Vectorworks. Now it's not easy and it does have its problems but it can be done. So up till now I've kept this as simple as I can just to show you that records can be taken out they can be exported into a format that will be taken up by at least two other different systems. I can take it into into Google Chrome and into their database and I'll put a nice spreadsheet up and then people can start to see exactly what's going on. Or you can take it into a database and I use FileMaker Pro 11 and I've shown you how to take it in and start adding records to it. If you're really clever you can start to put new file, new tables up within the file now that allows you to do relational databases where you can add data on and that's why the accession number here is so important that you can actually tie the two tables together with the accession number and start to add reports you can put um, what they call a portal down here and you can show all the reports set up that you've done on a separate table and it will just show them each one separately for the uh, for the actual record through the portal okay that's it Hope this is useful for you. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Hold on, I'm you're still recording. At least I think I am. Oh, I've done all that without it bloody recording. Ooh, do 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 do.